Lars Lamexen, a Swedish inventor, played a significant role in advancing modern systems for forestry machinery through his machinery company. His focus on innovation was reflected in multiple creations, some of which reached the point of being ready for mass production. However, most of his work was dedicated to developing unique and specialized equipment, often on commission. Although the company continues to operate under the guidance of his children, Lars Lamexen's legacy is found in several uniquely designed machines that, in their time, offered impressive performance. One example is an unusually designed excavator, built as a one-of-a-kind model around 1997, specifically for road maintenance tasks in forested areas. This excavator was equipped with a 340-horsepower Perkins engine and weighed around 23 tons. It featured articulated steering and an innovative suspension system that allowed the unit to be raised and lowered to improve stability during operations and facilitate transport in challenging terrain. A similar suspension system was used in another of his notable inventions, a high-capacity wood chipper. The wood chipper also utilized this suspension, especially for transport. It could be towed or controlled remotely to access difficult areas. The chipper's engine provided the necessary power for both self-propulsion and running the chipping system. This machine was developed in collaboration with Stark's Fliss, and like the excavator was also a unique and specialized design. Pacific Trucks was one of the most influential heavy-duty truck manufacturing companies, and even today it boasts a strong base of admirers and users who continue to operate its units. The trucks developed by this brand are known for their great reliability and incredible performance, especially the models in the P-Series. Among their wide range of trucks, the P-12 model stands out. It's a super heavyweight vehicle with imposing dimensions. With a standard length of 11 meters, a width of 3.2 meters, and a height of 3.2 meters, this truck is typically equipped with Detroit V12 diesel engines, much like its larger version, the P16. These engines can generate up to 525 horsepower and an impressive torque of 1,700 newton meters. The design of the P12 is primarily geared towards the forestry industry allowing for massive cargo transportation. Although its payload capacity is around 58 tons with different trailer configurations, it can haul loads of over 100 tons. Despite its age, which is approaching 50 years, these trucks are still utilized in various industries, including oil and gas extraction, mining, and the forestry sector. It's worth noting that the P-12 model was also used as a basis for a special order in South Africa. This order consisted of four ultra-heavy units designed to transport massive loads of up to 370 tons. They even operated as a connected set to form an exceptionally long and sturdy road train. The story of ACO in the heavy machinery manufacturing industry is truly unique, as it is credited with the development and production of the largest motor grader and bulldozer ever built. Although both were special orders and unique units, the bulldozer holds greater significance and even has a presence today. Built in the early 1980s, this bulldozer was primarily composed of caterpillar components. The specifications of this impressive machine measuring 12 meters in length, 
and weighing over 180 tons, are astonishing even compared to modern equipment. It is equipped with two Caterpillar engines that generate a combined power of 1,350 horsepower, surpassing the 850 horsepower of CAT's largest current model. The dozer blade of this bulldozer had a width of 7 meters and a height of 2.4 meters, while the rear ripper measured 3 meters and operated through powerful hydraulic cylinders. Despite its remarkable capabilities, this bulldozer never managed to be transported to its intended destination, Libya. However, it was used on one occasion in southern Italy, before it was determined that the transportation costs were too high to be feasible. As a result, the machine was stored. Despite the unfortunate closure of the ACO company in 2006, this bulldozer was rescued in 2012 as it had become a sort of tourist attraction. Unlike the motor grader which was scrapped, the bulldozer was restored and can currently be visited to appreciate its impressive presence and magnificence. The renowned company Le Tourneau had a strong start with the development of oversized machinery, primarily for forestry work. Anchored in their principle of diesel-electric propulsion, they managed to manufacture a unique and exceptional machine that operated in land clearing, being classified as the largest self-propelled unit of its kind. Known as the G175, it operated by crushing and pushing trees with the help of two enormous rollers, one at the front and another at the rear. To break and chip large trees, these rollers were equipped with 15 centimeter long steel claws. Thanks to its weight of around 160 tons, it left behind a compact mass of wood debris ready to be removed. Although the machine had impressive dimensions of 17 meters in length and 6.4 meters in height, its outstanding performance drew attention, and it was requested by the United States military for land-clearing tasks in conflict zones in the 1960s. In 1968, the Army leased the only two tree crushers available at the time. However, these units were returned shortly afterward due to the need for special adaptations to be used in risky situations. As a result, the idea of reintroducing them into conflict zones was abandoned. Eventually, only one of the built tree crushers was dismantled, transported, and reassembled in Mackenzie, Canada, where it is still displayed as a historical piece that testifies to the engineering feats achieved by Le Tourneau. Orchard Machinery Corporation is an American company specialized in the manufacturing and maintenance of professional equipment for high-yield orchard work. Operating on the premise of developing effective and durable machinery, the company offers a complete line of machines for every stage of cultivation, with their pruning machines, known as hedgehog, being particularly noteworthy. These pruning machines are self-propelled units equipped with 200 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel engines, featuring both four-wheel steering and four-wheel drive. At the top, they sport a hydraulic arm with a dual rotating blade system. This design allows for great flexibility and adaptability in operating on trees and shrubs of varying sizes. In their largest model, these pruning machines have cutting blades with an 80 centimeter diameter. Thanks to their rotational capacity, they can cover up to 4.2 meters in each pass, reaching maximum coverage heights of 10 meters. Their primary use revolves around trimming walnut hedges in controlled orchards to maintain an appropriate size conducive to high walnut production. Due to the nature of their work, these units are built with a robust structure, primarily using steel, and feature half-inch safety glass in the cabin. From this cabin, the operator maintains complete control over propulsion, cutting blade functions, and all necessary measurement systems to effectively carry out their tasks. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. 
Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We can't wait to see you in the next one.